Good morning, it is Friday and we have our suspension trainer workout today, but if you don't have one, that's okay. Just grab a pair of dumbbells because that's all you're gonna need if you don't have this. But I'm gonna show you how to do both workouts today. We have six exercises. We're gonna be doing 30 seconds in each one with 15 second rest. And our first one is a high row. So we're gonna be doing this with the suspension trainer at about medium height. That means that my strap is about two feet from the floor. And I'm going to be in an angled position with my feet toward the anchor strap and I'm bringing those elbows straight back. So I'm coming this way with them. A traditional row is where I bring those elbows straight into my rib cage area, but this time I'm bringing them here. So the same is true for dumbbells. When we're in that bent over position, we're bringing those elbows straight back in a high row. Okay, next one is a pistol squat. So we're going to be having feet pointed toward the anchor. I'm going to be standing on one leg as I bring those arms straight and come down into a one-legged squat. Over here with the chair, you're going to stand with that same left leg, right leg out, and we're going to sit down into the chair and then stand back up. If you can't do that, just put your toe on the ground, bend knee, and then sit down in that chair and stand up. It does give you a little bit of an assist to have that toe down. Okay, then we have pistol squats on the other leg for our third exercise. Then we'll do bicep curls with the TRX. Toes pointed toward that anchor again. This time we're bringing those elbows up nice and high, bringing those hands to the ears. Or you're doing a traditional bicep curl with your dumbbells. Okay, pretty simple there. Then we have a tricep extension into a chest press. That's gonna be a little bit difficult to do both of those with dumbbells. So you can choose to do a tricep extension in one round. And in the second round, you can do push-ups. And then in the third round, you guys can do whatever you want. If you feel like you want to get more strength through the push-up position, chest, do chest press in the third round, or do tricep extensions. For us here, we're going to be doing tricep extensions by facing our toes away from the anchor. We're going to be on my toes, heels up, bringing those hands up and together, and then I'm bringing the back of my hands to the crown of the head, and then bringing the hands down to the chest, and going into a chest press. So I'm combining tricep extension and then into a chest press. Tricep extension into a chest press. Okay. And then we have a plank. So we're going to do a regular plank on the ground. For those of you without a suspension trainer, and if you have a suspension trainer, you're doing your plank through the loop straps. So it takes a little bit of setup there, but and it's difficult. So if you don't feel like you can do that, then just do a regular plank. That is totally fine. All right, guys, get your watches turned on if you want to keep track of your workout today. We're going to get started with the warm up first. It's a three minute warm up. We'll start with some high knee skips. One, two, three, drop and scoop. One, two, three, heel down, toe up. Scoop it out, switch every three.
One more on each leg. Whew. Let's go do our deep sumo squat. With a side stretch. Let's get down to the floor. 
Get those toes in the hip strap if you're joining me in plank with a suspension trainer, or you're just doing a plank on the ground, like normal. Exercise. Oh my goodness. Let me get my feet in there. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Rest. Okay, pistol squat. One thing you want to remember when you're doing TRX is that your belly button's tucked in and you're keeping a nice tight core throughout the workout. Exercise. Then it'll be a core workout along with whatever muscle you're working. Rest. All right, we got a plank. Get down. 
dropping those straps to about 12 inches from the floor. Exercise. Rest. All right, guys, take a break. You get a minute 15. Get some water, get your straps back up into place. Recovery. We're going to start out with those high rows again. Ten more seconds. Get in position. Here we go. Exercise. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Extend out the arms. Exercise. Exercise. Rest. All right, guys, bicep curls. Exercise. All right, bringing those fists to the ears. The elbows remain high. Pull that belly button in. Rest. Ooh. All right, plank. 
Yes. Okay. All right, you guys. That is it for our workout. Let's go ahead and cool it down. We're going to get onto our back. Recovery. Bring your feet straight up. While you're going to do a hamstring stretch, you're going to bring your hands toward the feet. I want your back to be nice and flat as you reach. Okay, hold that for a few more seconds. Workout pause. All right, come onto your back. Bringing those knees up to your chest, rocking side to side. Let's do a side stretch. Cross body. Left leg down, right knee over left. Bringing that left or right arm straight out to the side. You're using your left hand to grab your right knee. And assist it into more of a cross body stretch. Deep breath in and exhale. Grab that bottom foot. Let's do a quad stretch. So I'm grabbing my left foot with my right hand. onto your back, and then rock side to side. And bring that right leg down, left knee over, cross body stretch, bring that left arm straight out to the side, that chest stretch. onto your back, bridge up, and down, bringing those knees into the chest, rock side to side. Come on up, stand up, let's take those hands interlacing behind the back and pull. Great uh, bicep stretch and chest stretch. All right, shake it out. Nice job today, you guys. That is it for the week. I will see you back here on Monday for our AMRAP workout, as many rounds as possible, in four minutes for three rounds. And if you've never done one with me before, it's high intensity. So I'd love to see you here for the first time on Monday. I'll see you guys later.